Hello everyone and welcome down the Bitcoin rabbit hole. I'm Roxy and today we're going to figure it out which level of security do you need and so which wallet you should set up. Uh, this is going to be a really condensed and quick version of a longer video about uh, the how and why of every single thing I'm going to talk today. So if you want more details, please check the full lesson on my website or the video associated with it. Anyway, you ready? Let's go. So first we need to see at three different factors. The attack factor. What are the potential threats? Are we talking about hackers? Uh, theft, physical aggression, and we're talking about flooding and fire. So what happens if your house burn? Uh, we have the political uh, threat. So what happens if the government force you to give your Bitcoin to the states? Uh, what happens if you have a car accident and you, you lose your memory? So memory loss is another factor you need to consider. What happens if you cannot have access to your district, your area, your town, or your country for political or war or whatever reason there is? Can you still have your access to your money somewhere else? All of that needs to be considered. The second aspect is going to be about your personal life. Who are you? Are you good with technology? Do you have a family? Do you have kids? Are you alone or is it for your business? Two different things. Uh, how much time do you want to consider to Bitcoin? Do you only want to give one hour or five hours to really understand how it works? Uh, all of that is going to bring you to different aspects of how you should uh, deal with security. The third aspect is going to be the amount of money you have. Are we talking about a small thing like zero to 500 uh, to buy like coffee and stuff? Or are we talking about 1,000 to 20, 30,000 dollars? Well, you don't want to lose that money, but it's not your entire saving. Uh, or are we talking about actual saving account uh, where you're going to be loading up money for your retirement, house, university? In that case, that should be pretty well secured, right? Anyway, you're all going to start with basically a mobile wallet. So Samurai or Green Wallet, they are both great. We've made some video about them. The issue is that they are hot wallets, so you cannot store too much money on them. It's easy to set up, just check everything we've done. Once you reach 1000 bucks, you should definitely move those Bitcoin away from a mobile wallet and into a cold storage solution. So a hardware wallet like a Trezor or a Ledger. So basically the private key is going to be generated directly through the device, never going to be connected to the internet. You're going to make a copy and store them in two different locations. This is really going to mitigate a lot of risk we discussed. The only thing here is that you should definitely not buy a used one. You should use the official uh, seller or the official website because if it can be trafficated. Uh, please, you can use the link in the description if you need one. It costs 59 bucks. Uh, and be aware that the link below are going to be affiliated. That means you will be directly supporting this channel, this project for free Bitcoin educational content. So thank you so much if you do. Anyway, once you've reached more than basically, I'd say, 5 to 10K, uh, you should use a passphrase. So it's not going to cost you anything more. You can do it from the ledger or the treasure. It's a little trick to add some extra security on top. So you're basically going to add a passphrase on top of the private key. So your money is more secured and you separate them and store them in four different locations uh, because you have copy. This is going to be awesome because you can really hide your money and create some uh, different account and wallet through the same device. So if you have a physical attack or if you need to move around the world, that is absolutely perfect for you. At that point, uh, you will need to improve to a multi-sig wallet if you move to the next level. I'm talking about more than 20, 30, 50K of uh, worth of Bitcoin. Then you need to buy two more physical devices, which are different from the one you bought. And together, basically, they're all going to create their own private key and you're going to combine them into one new wallet that you're going to activate. That is absolutely awesome because now if you want to receive money, you can just as the usual thing with an address. But if you need to send money, you need two of those private keys. So you need to physically go and pick up two devices to unlock the wallet and be able to send the money. Like you can guess, it's not going to be used to buy coffee because it's too complicated. It's going to be used for retirement. And so once in a while, once every year, once every two years, you go over there, you check your security. And if you need some money, you're going to move them to another wallet, which is more accessible. That is the idea. At that point, it's a couple of different tricks to increase that security. First of all, privacy. Do not talk about your Bitcoin. If no one knows you have Bitcoin, then you are safe. No one is going to come for your Bitcoin. So do not use quite KYC, use mixing and really like be discreet. Do not tell people you have Bitcoin. So important. Second, for the memory lose, you need to create an inheritance plan. It's going to be chapter six, but check Pamela's book. It's really important. Final thing, you will need to move away from PayPal at some point uh, and go to some steel solution so it doesn't get burned or it doesn't get destroyed or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's really going to make it more resilient for the long term. 
Understand that can be complicated. It's a lot of things. So please uh, check the full version, the full course, the full PDF. All other details are going to be done in the description. If you need more details, again, it is a condensed version. If you're going to put a lot of money, you should definitely be aware of what you're doing. Uh, anyway, I'm Ragzi. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Put the bell. It's really going to help us and share our content on Twitter if you want. That is going to be a massive boost for us. Anyway, please visit my website, thebitcoinorbital.com. Stay safe out there and keep those private keys secured. Bye bye.